McLaren has set the 2024 season on fire, with many now questioning the legality of their car. After years of chasing Red Bull and Mercedes, McLaren's MCL 38 has suddenly become the car to beat, especially after suspicious movements on their rear wing during the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Rumors are swirling about McLaren's MCL 38. First, it was the flexi front wing that raised eyebrows. Now, it's their DRS flap seen semi-opening under high-speed pressure in Baku. Could McLaren be breaking the rules to gain a competitive edge? And if so, is it too late for the FIA to act? Let's dive into the technical details and see if McLaren's rise to dominance might be in question. Since the start of the 2024 season, McLaren has been on a meteoric rise. They've secured four wins, leaving fans and rivals alike in awe. After their upgrades started rolling out in Miami, the MCL 38 became a serious championship contender, with both Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri delivering standout performances. But questions started to surface, particularly after Piastri's win in Baku, where he defended his lead for 30 laps without DRS assistance, a feat almost unheard of on a track like Baku with its long straights. The controversy began during the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, when Piastri's DRS flap was seen moving under high-speed pressure, even without the one-second gap required to activate DRS. This raised eyebrows because the flap seemed to be providing a semi-DRS effect, reducing drag even when not fully open. Piastri managed to hold off a faster Ferrari for nearly half the race, a scenario that normally would have ended with him being overtaken due to the long straight at the end of each lap. However, McLaren's aerodynamic advantage, possibly aided by this controversial DRS behavior, kept him ahead. This has led to speculation about whether McLaren's rear wing, and potentially their entire aerodynamic package, might be flexing illegally. If the DRS flap or rear wing is subtly flexing, McLaren could be gaining a speed advantage without technically breaking the rules, exploiting a gray area in the regulations. Earlier in the season, McLaren was accused of using a flexi front wing. Though this was investigated by the FIA, no punitive action was taken, with the FIA saying that it was too late to force McLaren to change their parts. However, this investigation prompted teams like Red Bull and Ferrari to study McLaren's innovations closely, and it's expected they'll introduce their own versions of flexible wings by the time we reach Austin. And now, in Baku, the rear wing of Piastri's car seemed to partially open, even though his DRS was supposed to be off. As you can see, the rear wing flap of the Red Bull on the long straight of Baku is closed. The same with Ferrari. However, you can see the rear wing flap of the McLaren slightly open. This is the result of flexing, giving them a mini DRS effect. Now look at the rear wings frame by frame, with the first frame being at the start of the straight and next frame being at the end of it. You can see how much of the flap is open. Without DRS, Leclerc achieved a top speed of 321 kilometers per hour, while Piastri reached 324 kilometers per hour. This extra three kilometers per hour could be because of McLaren's controversial rear wing. But is it legal? Or is McLaren cheating? The rules say, the design is such that failure of the system will result in the uppermost closed section returning to the normal high incidence position. Any alteration of this incidence of the uppermost closed section may only be commanded by the direct driver input and controlled using the control electronics specified in Article 8.3. The rear wing flap may deflect no more than 7 millimeters horizontally when a 500 Newton load is applied horizontally. And this goes on to talk about the measurements of how high it can open and so on, and it talks about how it's being measured. And the FIA has yet to officially respond to the rear wing concerns. In previous instances, when asked about McLaren's front wing, the governing body provided a vague response, essentially saying, as of now, it's legal. With the 2024 season in full swing, even if McLaren's car is found to be exploiting a loophole, it might be too late for the FIA to intervene this year. Any rule changes or penalties would likely come into effect for 2025. But this opens up a broader question. Should McLaren's innovations be celebrated as genius engineering, 
Or are they flying too close to the sun when it comes to F1 regulations? Historically, other teams have found themselves in similar positions. Red Bull, for example, was accused of pushing the limits with their flexible floors in past seasons. McLaren's aero upgrades have had an undeniable impact on this year's championship. They have now overtaken Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship, and with the car's current form, it seems unlikely that Red Bull or Ferrari will be able to challenge them for the rest of the season. But what if McLaren's advantage is found to be based on bending the rules? Even without FIA penalties, the spotlight is firmly on their car. In a recent interview, McLaren team principal Andrea Stella downplayed concerns about the upgrades. He stated that the team has been patient with introducing changes, thoroughly testing them before bringing them to the track. Stella explained that while the Miami and Zonford upgrades were critical, the team has been cautious about making too many changes at once, focusing on perfecting each part. The spotlight is on McLaren. Their innovations, particularly around the front and rear wings, have sparked debates about the legality of their car. As we move deeper into the 2024 season, rivals like Red Bull and Ferrari are scrambling to catch up, while the FIA faces pressure to clarify the rules. Is McLaren's success purely down to brilliant engineering, or have they exploited a loophole that the FIA had missed? The FIA's decision regarding the legality of the rear wing will be pivotal. If found illegal, the consequences could shake up the championship battle. But if they deem it legal, McLaren could sail to a double championship victory in 2024. Let us know what you think in the comments. Do you believe McLaren's car is within the rules? Or is it time for the FIA to step in? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Formula One content as we head into the critical final races of 2024. And as always, thanks for watching.